Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with this Eufy Anchor Cordless Vacuum, model number S11, $99 Black Friday Walmart. And here I've got the 159 Walmart Black Friday Shark, Shark Cordless Pet, model number WZ140. So again, $159.99. I'm going to do, I'll put them together and show you how they pick up pet hair on furniture, linoleum, and carpet. I've got detailed reviews on each one of these, so I'm just going to hit the highlights on these. First off, the Shark does not have a removable battery. This one does, but it only comes with one battery. This is what they come with, pretty standard. They come with a wand, a crevice tool. Each one comes with a crevice tool. They got like this a battery charger. Here's the battery charger. They've got a powered head, so the head does turn. It gets power from the unit. This one's quite a bit bigger. Here we've got the Eufy. Its head also turns. The Shark one is just quite a bit bigger. It has a little bit different brussel, uh, brush arrangement. This one is pretty standard, but it does turn um, when, you've got the, when you turn the unit on. And from the very beginning, so the Shark is definitely a little heavier and you get a little, it seems a little taller. The Eufy doesn't seem short, it seems like the right size, but it's definitely a lot lighter weight. The Eufy did come with a wall mount. The Shark does not come with a wall mount. Okay, so probably the next biggest thing is the power switch. So this one, it stays on, and it's got two positions. It's got the same suction on both positions but the, the brush head turns faster on this position. And we got boost, it's spring-loaded, but we do get a noticeable increase. But the Eufy is a trigger. There's no way of keeping that trigger in. So the unit only operates when you've got it plugged in. And you gotta reach up here to hit the, the boost, but it does have a, that's a slow mode, normal boost. And again, I've gotta keep the trigger in this entire time. They're both bagless. I thought the Shark was a little easier to clean. You just push this button forward and this, this thing spring low. Well, I say that. Normally that pops right out. You take this over to the trash can, empty it out. This one was a little trickier. It seemed like a little smaller and stuff would get caught. But you pop this and stuff is supposed to fall out of there, which it does. But sometimes the hair gets caught right in there. As far as suction, they both seem like they've got really good suction. So looking at the, the Eufy one does have a little bit bigger battery. Um, the Shark's got a uh, 1900 milliamp and the Eufy says it's got a 2500 milliamp. So now let's just take the units apart over here. We've got this, this whole unit pops out. I've got filters here and here. I can't take this out unless I do some extra work, but I can rinse this out with, with some soap and water. And then I do have an extra filter in here around the motor. Let's do the Eufy. I've got this filter here. I can take this out. I can, do, I can really clean this units, but it's nice being able to take this apart. And then I've got this extra filter back here. Seems pretty robust. So as far as filtration, the Eufy does seem like it's got a little better filtration than the Shark. So now let's get to the, these. this is where a big difference is also. So there's obviously quite a bit difference in size and weight. This one's got some weight to it. This one seems very lightweight. It must have a really small motor. Um, they both move, roll really good. You've got articulation up and down, seems the same. But turn them over, and just that's where a major difference is. So it's pretty much even a bigger head, lengthwise. We do got some area in the front here. Brushes. This one just has some weight to it. Again, this brush is a lot bigger and different. You've got an area in the front, on the side, and a brush. Okay, I've got pet hair, um, popcorn seeds, cereal on the carpet, on the couch, 
on the linoleum, I've got it up against the wall. We're gonna see how they do up against the wall. And I've got it on another piece of furniture. So we're gonna see how each one of these does on these against each other. So let me start out with the Eufy. I'm gonna, you gotta remember, you gotta pull the trigger. There's everything it picked up. All right, let's go with the shark. I got two speeds with the shark. So the first one is for linoleum, but then I got a second switch and that thing really takes off. So I don't consider there a real clear winner here. I thought they both did a really good job on carpet. It's, you know, this one makes you think it's doing a really better job because that, that brush spins so much faster. All right, linoleum. So it is getting the stuff next to the wall. Yeah, give it some time and it picks it up eventually. There's everything. Now let's do the shark. I'll go to the first position because it won't spin the head as fast. If I want to boost, it's real easy to boost. Let's go along the edge. Hmm, that was a pretty good job. Okay, this one I'm going to give a slight advantage to the shark. I thought it did a better job against the edge, and it didn't push the material. Of course, I say that, and there's some stuff it was pushing. But I do think the shark does have a little edge here when it comes to the edge. I thought they both picked up the same amount of material. Slight edge to the shark. Okay, so we got like a couch here. Let's do the UV. <laughs> Okay, let's do the shark. First position. Okay, no real clear advantage here. I think they both did exactly the same on this type of furniture. It's kind of like a felt. Here we have an older couch. I consider this couch to be hard to clean because the material, it kind of grabs the, the hair and kind of clings to it. So let's do the Eufy first. Okay. Now let's do the shark. I can up the speed of the rotor. Okay. Now earlier, I had some hair that had been on here a while and sat on. I just kind of threw some hair on this now and they both did a really good job. But the hair that had been there a while the shark had an advantage because I think the bead, the head spins so much faster. It was able to get it up off there pretty good. Okay, so here's everything it caught. Now let's do the empty. And 
And see, this is where you do have to kind of get up in there. Sometimes the hair doesn't come out. Let's do the shark. Both of them, you've got to take the wand or the attachment off to, to empty it. So this, let's see how it does. Much better job of, of emptying out. Okay, so I like the shark better. I like the shark better because the switch stays. I like that it has two positions, that the beater, the head turns faster. Um, I don't like that the boost is up here. I like the boost down here. Um, this one did empty easier than the Eufy. Now this one was $100. This one was $160 almost. So is it worth $60 more? Maybe, I'm not sure. There, Actually, when I before I bought the Shark, I was very happy with the Eufy. Uh, I used this for a week. I was, I was very impressed with it. So don't get me wrong here. Um, when I'm doing this comparison, I really did like the Eufy. I do think there's just some nicer features on the Shark. Now, both of them, I thought, picked up pretty much the same. The Shark might have had a better advantage a little bit, but um, I thought they both picked up the same amount of material. This one did the, the corners a little better. So I'm going to lean towards the shark, but is it $60 more? I'm just not sure about that. So thanks everybody for watching. I've got detailed reviews on how to take them apart, how to put them together on both those machines. And I'll put links to them in the show description notes. So thanks everybody for watching.